Eh, hey, Tim. Huh? Can no come work today? No, we no come work. Ah. In the okay, so? Uh, no, no shaking. In the okay. Eh. Uh. Hey, Mika, why do you ask another ask people? You know, no say, see the artist, Tim. Tim, you say, man, I'm going to fuck you. Hey! I know that's why. Hey, so I know you're supposed to. Ah, 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 she she you not get, not come work. Not she she you not get a phone fan boy, they carry comb, they call your see bitch. You don't come work. See your sponge, baby. Come 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 work, you come work. You, you get you get this kind of shit. You get this kind of shit. You get this kind of shit, which are incomplete, baby. You don't see my thing something. Engineer never come pay us, so but did they prepare? That one, he concern, he concern me. No worry. That for sure, sure. My shoe. Yeah. And they come. Ah, why they go now? I saw your daughter kissing and uh, clinging onto one boy at the gate on my way back. What? Oh my God. Has she lost every sense of reasoning? I, I have told her to bring the boy to me tomorrow. Failing to do that, I will teach Nene who I am. Oh my God. She opined that Junior is not good enough for her. Right in this compound, she also rejected Bobby, who was here earlier today to ask for her hand in marriage. Bobby was here today? Yes! Ha! Huh. Your daughter insulted and humiliated that young man and called him all sorts of unprintable names. She even went as far as throwing the ring back to his face. What? Yes! Come, 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 come and collect your cheap ring, bro! Come and collect your cheap ring because you need it. Get out of this place. Come and take this cheap ring from this place. Uh -uh. Fish, is, fish will talk. People pray fish will come and talk. What's this now? Hi. Nelly. Mom. Can you imagine that, that non-entity? Can you imagine? Look at the nonsense, rubbish, stupid, dirty ring he brought to, to come and ask for my hand. Can, can you imagine Nelly. that? Mom. <sighs> You rejected Junior, and now you have also rejected Bobby. Are you sure something is not wrong with you? Ah. Mom, yeah? you are asking me if something is wrong with me. Wait, wait, you, <coughs> wait. You actually expect me to accept a proposal from that? Mom, electrician? Oh God, please, oh. Nelly. Bobby is not an electrician as you think. Just that he comes around to help your daddy with electrical work in the house because that's what he read in the university. He's actually a graduate of electronical engineering. Mom, I don't believe you. Yes. You know what? You made a mistake. You should have just... You're still young enough. Why not give birth to another child so you can just marry that one off to him? I don't get. Why are you in a rush to sell me off? I am not interested in that non-entity. What Please. is it that you don't get? Huh? Mom, I want nothing to do with him. His mere sight irritates me. I don't want him. I don't get you. What is it you don't get, Mom? You actually expect me to be with that thing? No! Do you know what? When the, the right guy for me, when he comes, you, 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 you will know that someone has come. What, what was this? And who is he and what does he represent? Mom, trust me. It will be worth your while. Hmm? Just patience. Mm. Yes. Bring him home and stop this, your hide and sick game. There is no hide and sick. It's everything I want in, in a man. It checks all the boxes. You, you know what? You I get to want see him. to see that person that is better than Junior and Bobby. Mom, you get to see him sooner than you expect. And I promise you, you will just you, you will fall in love with him. It's all shades of cuteness. He's handsome. He's everything I want in a man. In fact, I picked him for myself, you know, by myself. Yes. Daughter, what defines a man is not his facial look and physiognomy. Forget appearance and focus on the man that lies within. Okay? Mom. No, Ted. I'm off to the gym. And please, um, tell Mary to prepare something for me because 
I'll be really hungry when I get back. Very important. Bobby told me he won the American Visa Lottery and he needs a wife desperately. But he didn't tell me he was going to come for my daughter. Really? Huh? Oh my God. Huh? Why do Nelly keep rejecting good men? Why? Huh? No, instead of good men, she would all bring good for nothing boys like that one she brought. Anyway, I made myself clear to her. Failing to bring that boy to me tomorrow, Nelly will know the kind of person I am. She will know why I am called Papando. Honey, could it be that boy she bragged so much about that is handsome? <laughs> that boy I saw at the gate today. My dear, I know a gold digger when I see one. That is the big crooks attached to it. Nelly is so daft, she cannot read in between lines. Ah, ah, Manchi. Alpha. My God. I, wait, as I won't come out for house, mm. I wake you. You tell me, say you want sleep. Now make I leave you come out. Wait till, been... they, wait till they play. What's going on? I've been they sleep now. Uh -huh. Now on top of my sleep, uh -huh. she placed me on call. Who placed you on call? Nearly now. You could spoil mood every time I did it. Ah, ah. I didn't tell you. Ah, ah. But I be see why I take, take off. Ah, ah. Ah, hey. Hey, no, hey. no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, huh? See if I take, take off, eh? Mm hmm, my guy. I run, no. Oh boy. Ava. Hey. Where I go? Where I go? Where we go? A house. Hey! Oh boy. Eh? How did they tell Wait. you? You mean say you don't? Hey! Hey! <laughs> my guy. Hey! Four rounds. Should we dog? My boy. Oui. My boy. That girl won't kill me. Just they do. Hmm. Oh baby. This is. Uh, uh. My boy. My mom. So I do my fourth one around. No. My sister made sure be that one. My brother, I agree my office school around. Hey. Ah. Eh, 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 eh. Half a, half a. How much she give you? Ah. How do you go to work? I go. I say, I say, how much you go to you? This serious now. My nah, boy, nah. calm down. Now you get the way they, they take around this matter. I understand, you go, you go package, you go arrange. You, you they talk so on top of the four rounds, you know. What you they talk? She don't give you anything. My brother, see now, me, I tell him, see now from office, I they come. You know, see now package. You know, see me now. Office, Which quarter. office? Don't worry. This matter, eh? I go eat, see? I go eat, they just you two, they complain. Why, why you no play this tape? Tell this girl I should go. Forget about that. This girl, if he help you now, why you they? Papa, don't worry. Now, me, they run this matter now. I go Look at the do so, 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 as you don't do four rounds now, where you go chop this evening? You know why they ask you? Mm -hmm. You know why they tell you? Why? I don't get money to borrow you. Where would they go? Why did they do like this now? I never even collect my money from me. Me, your guy. 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 She should have got no gets. You know what I'm working in front of them, boy. Yeah, I'm going to work with that girl. Sunny. Oh, hi, Dad. Mom. Oh, yes. there you are. Uh, oh, you guys are having a great time. Of course, of course. Mm. Well, I and see. That is what we want for you. Oh, I know ah. you, Dad. Y'all, I love you. <laughs> um, I have to leave my room. Hey, how did it go? What exactly are you? I thought you were with Nelly. Oh, Nelly? No, no I wasn't with Nelly. I was with Sandra or Fru. And who is Sandra? Oh, mom, Sandra, the girl I'm supposed to marry. The one I'm getting married to in Pira, that's it. Why are you acting as if you don't know her? You know the girl in question. Sandra, the one you know. The one I want to get married to. Lies. A big. What? Lie. That girl would not enter my house. Did you hear that? She will not. You heard your father. Sandra, 
is a no-no in this family. She is not coming into this family. Get that into your head. You don't walk out on us. Junior, will you come back here? Come back here! Son, you have a whole lot to benefit from Nelly. She has economic values. Think about it. Nelly is the right person for you. Why are you doing this? Why are you people pushing me? Why do you keep pushing me into doing what I don't want to do? How would you feel if you wake up someday and find out that I've committed suicide and died and go? How would you feel as parents? Is that what you want? Tell me! There is no way you keep pushing me to a girl that does not feel anything for me. Even if you have rejected Sandra, I don't care. At this point in time, I don't mind taking Sandra somewhere else and get married to her without or with your consent. Yes, and that is exactly what I would do. And as for the family benefit that comes with marrying Nelly, you might as well go ahead and marry her and keep the benefit to yourself. I am not interested. Did you marry your son? Huh? You heard him? Dad, oh. um, Mom, uh, meet um, Ken, my boyfriend, Ken, my dad, my mom, um, Chief Ruben, Justice Charity. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, um, good, good day, sir. Good, good day, Mom. Welcome to my house. Thank you very much. Uh, Nelly. Dad. Why don't you get him something to drink? I asked my daughter to bring you that I want to see you. Oh, okay, sir. Um, are you her boyfriend? That is, what are you to her? Ah, uh, she's she's my friend, sir. My friend. What are your intentions towards her? Uh, um, sir, I um. Um, marriage. Marriage, Dad. Um, yes, sir. I, I want to marry your daughter. That means you are my son-in-law to be, right? Um, by God's grace. So tell me, who are you and what are you? Uh, I'm a contractor, sir. Contractor on what? Um, sir, I, I don't understand. You said you are a contractor. So what kind of contract do you do? When was the last time you executed the contract? Oh, um, um, I'm okay. Um, uh, babe, can you just stop stuttering and answer him already? Tell him everything he wants to know. Okay. Hi, Mom. Hi, son. Good evening, Mom. Um, Mom, someone greeted you. I heard her the first time. Sandra, right? Yes, Mom. Stop calling me Mom. I am not your mother. And I can never be your mother. Mom, can you stop this? I think you're embarrassing my guests at this point. Can you just stop it? Shut up, my friend. And allow me to talk to this thing. Mom, I will not stand here and watch you call my guest names. That doesn't make sense at all. And if I do, what will you do? Just calm down, okay? My mom is like this. Hey! Go, digger. Listen and listen, code. I don't want to ever 
see you in my house. I don't want to see you around my son. My son is engaged to another. He can never marry you. He can never marry you. Nonsense. He will never marry you. Hear that? Stupid girl. Nonsense. Um, sir, um, so basically one of our contracts we had to work with um, Rubenko Venture Limited. Yes, sir. Wow. When was the last time you executed a contract for Rubenko Ventures? Um, that, that should be, that should be eight months ago. Eight months ago. Rubenko Ventures, I know, has so many departments. So what department did you work for? Sir? Um, can, can just answer, answer him. Please stop fidgeting. Talk. Say something. See the young man who brought to my house here to lie about his identity? Dad, he isn't lying. Um, the thing is, he's, he's very tensed. Mm. Well, don't be tense. Just calm down. We don't eat people here. Hmm? Um, what is the name of your company? Uh, Kendo Enterprises. Kendo Enterprises. Kendo Enterprises. Where is this situated? Sir? Your office address. Where is this situated? Dad, why all these interrogatory questions? You're making him uncomfortable. Uh, he's, um, he's tensed already. He, he feels like he's on hot seat. Uh, well, well, Daddy, there's no point, you see? What I want you to do now, take this fake man you brought to my house out of this place this minute. Uh, sir, sir, look, I really love your daughter and I want to marry her. You heard my husband. Leave this minute. Um, He's a brutal liar. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Mom! This girl. You were just, you were just blabbing. What nonsense? Mom! 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 What was the meaning of what you just did? I just told the classless girl the truth. What truth did you just tell her? That my son would never marry her. Oh, please. Is this what it's all about? Well, I'm sure you and dad must have heard stories about two lovers who made their way and left the shores of the country, probably go somewhere else and get married without the concept and knowledge of their parents. Well, from the way you're acting, it's obvious that that's your portion, mom. And try it, Junior! And I will tell you that you suckled this breast. And I will use the same breast that you suckled to lay cross on that marriage. Oh, please. Mom, why are you acting this way? Why are you acting as if you're not learned, whereas you are? Mom, you're highly late, and if anyone should be saying things of this kind, not you. I just want you to understand that it's quite late to stop I am Susan. It doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. Please, just stop it, please. It's not going to work. You cannot marry her. Except I didn't give back to you. Really? Mom, why are you... Why are you trying to fight what you cannot change? Can't you see that it's too late? I mean, no one can stop I and her anymore. It's the fact. Well, um, I think I have to go because I have things to do. Junior, stop there. Junior, I bore you in my stomach. I brought you into this world. I gave birth to you. I took care of you from childhood till adulthood. And now that you're supposed to do the simple thing for me as a good son. No, you cannot. Hmm? You wore Sandra. Use that same energy you use in wooing Sandra to woo Nelly, to marry you. Is that too hard for you to do? Is it? Oh, mom, I, while you were saying this, something came to my mind. And I think you'll like it. I think that's the solution to this whole thing. Mom, how about we go marry Nelly 
for your husband as a second wife. What? Yes, I'm just thinking about that. And maybe Nelly would come in as a co-wife. Maybe that would put an end to all these shenanigans. I mean, don't you think it's making sense? Mom, please, I beg you in the name of God Almighty. It's too late to stop I and Sandra. I have to go right now. I love you. Junior! Junior, come back here! Junior, we have to fix this right now. You're not going to marry that girl. You cannot marry that girl. I cannot be alive and watch you marry that girl. No, it's not possible. You can't marry her. Let me see how you do that. Ah! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? How? You couldn't even coordinate a simple speech for my parents. How would I coordinate a simple speech for your parents when your father is actually bombarding me with so many questions? Is he the only rich man in, in this town? Watch your tongue. Or, or else what? Even no, like tell me that, what. Did you have to lie that you did a contract with my father's company? Me? Lie? How? <laughs> oh my God. Rubenko Ventures. That's my father's company. Oh. By that look on your face, I swear you don't even know about that. Come on, what were you even thinking? But that is old. Meaning? Meaning the possibly does not know all the companies he has had businesses with. <laughs> you think my father will, will execute a contract with you and he, he won't even remember that he has? Are you okay? Kennedy, have you been lying to me? Lying to you? Who are you? You're not asking me questions you should have accents. That's not the point. Can you answer me? I'm sorry, I've been lying to you. Do you know if you had just told me the truth about yourself, I, I would have just loved you. Regardless of... Oh God, regardless if you're poor or rich, I'd, I wouldn't have even cared. What would I have done? What would I have said when your father was bombarding me with so many questions? Rupinko was the only name that came to my head. I didn't know it was your father's company. What other things have you been lying about? So many things. So many things. Okay. I still do not understand what has gotten into Nelly. I thought she's educated and exposed. She just brought that, that good for nothing jobless idiot into my house. To yeah. think that she left Junior and Bobby all because of that fool. Anyway, don't worry. Let her just come to the office tomorrow to pick up the job of the admin officer. Let me see how she's going to gallivant around town with that fool. Yes, my husband. That is a very good idea. She cannot be sitting and idling away at home doing nothing. No, she needs to get herself busy. Nonsense. And when next I see that idiot in my house, I am going to commit murder. Just tell her what I just said. <laughs> Ken, or whatever he's called, will not dare step his two left legs into this compound. Never again. He will not. What arrant nonsense. Okay. Fine. Look me in the eye. Tell me. What do you do for a living? I'm a job man. What, what, what do you mean by you're a job man? I... I'm a mason. I... <laughs> you... You, <laughs> you mean I slept with uh, someone who mixes sand, cement? Listen, if you if I told you what I was doing, you wouldn't give me a chance. I'm don't even touch me. I'm sorry. You, you, you're sorry? What? What? Oh my God. You, you know what? I, oh. Just go. Get out. Are you asking me to leave? Get out. Listen to me. I'm sorry. Listen. Listen. Listen to what exactly? Please, just forgive me. I'm, I'm sorry. Ken, get out of this place. Don't, don't force my hand. I don't want to have to push you. Get out. Sorry, Shush, get out! <laughs> I mean, I, I slept. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my 
like, oh my god, oh my god. What have I done? What have I done? Did this even happen? How? How? How could I descend so low to? I can't believe it. I can't believe I slept with an ordinary mason. He sweet taunted me. Hey. Hmm? I love you too. I have a question for you. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. You know, as funny as it sounds, mm. I want to have you for Kips. Um, what does that mean exactly? Okay. I want I want you to be my wife, my mother of my kids. Wait, are you asking me to marry you? Of course I am. <laughs> yes. You marry me? Yes, I'll marry you. For real? I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> He made me fall for him. I fell for him. And he just. Oh my god. How could I have been so naive and stupid? What was I even thinking? Oh God, how could I have slept with such a broke guy? Why is he, why does he keep calling me? Hmm. My brother. That's why I for take the police station now. Police station? Huh? I still if I be as waiting. Mm. What's happen? If you see the way that man just interrogates me, as if say, you no, know, I come for interview. I'm going to interrogate me as if I did what seat. Brother, don't they lie while I lie, they still catch me. Oh. I, I told you. Eh? It's like I saw this thing coming. See, speaking the truth doesn't rob you of anything. Rather, it will go a long way to help you. Now it's going to take a whole lot for that family to trust you again. You ask me, what do I do? I see I'll be contractor now. Eh? I see I don't even contract on kind of no jobs, you know, for companies. Uh, like for example, Rubenko Venture. Ha! As I mentioned, Rubenko Venture. My brother. Rubenko Ventures! Benko. You don't know so that you prove and get them? I won't take no. Hey! I won't take no now. Eh? This man for his police carry me. Oh. I don't this sell like this, like this, like this, like this. Fuck off. Oh. Mess up. Guy. See, as he be like this now, eh? The whole thing don't scatter. The only person with his save you now and Delhi. And that's if she still gets small love for where you did. If not, eh? No worry, forget them. Everything like this now, don't dabaru. Take care of the vest for me. She was so mad. She had to send me out of her father's compound. Hey! Bro! But why should she not go send you out? 
Now what are they try and make you no do be this? Now what are they want you make you no do be? This? See the other day, tell her see your your your, your car there for car wash. This time when you go tell her say maybe you get accident, the car can't scatter, can't crash. You tell her see they car wash. It's just a lie, some kind of lie where we say you know feel defend. You say you know they do it. Now calm down for me now. That is they pay me now because I tell you from the beginning. The man forgive you one one maybe manager position. You go employ me as supervisor. It's never better for us. That's all. Fuck up. So, fuck up. She's never gonna pick you up. Let me try again. It's ringing. Pick up now, pick up. Need to answer him anymore. I think I know just the right thing to do. Let me ask him what madness has come over him. She's calling me. She's calling me. Hello, hello, baby. Don't, don't, don't even try it. Don't call me that. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I know I messed up. What is wrong with you? Are you stalking me? What's this? No, 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 I'm not stalking you. No. Like I said, it is over between us. Just leave me the hell alone. Okay? Babe, please now. Just just forgive me. I know I'm, I know I wronged you. Can you just leave me alone? It is over. You don't want to... Don't call... In fact, don't message me. Don't call me. Simple. Full stop. Ah. Um, um, babe, don't hang up. Okay, look. 
I'm sorry now. Eh? Look, I'm not, I've not been okay. I know I messed up. I would do anything possible to right my wrongs. Just please give me a chance. Hello? 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 Phone. Listen, whatever we had, you killed it with your own hands. With your lies. Listen, I don't care. It is over between us. Do over. O V E R. Over. Just simple English. Don't you understand English? Don't call me anymore. Ah. Life is complicated. I lost her after all my efforts to win this girl. I built a love relationship with Nelly and destroyed the same relationship with my hands. <sighs> Kennedy and lies. Timothy told me this, so now I see what I've got myself into. I should have just listened to him. I should have told Nelly and her people the truth. I'm sure by now my life would have taken a new turn. I wish there's something I can do to reverse all this. All I ask is a second chance. It's obvious I can't get him off my head. I miss him. And I love him. How long will I continue to stay angry with him? Yeah, he just made a simple mistake. Just one mistake. Friend, I know it. I'm sorry I was angry with you. No, no, no. You you have every right to be angry. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm forgiving you. In as much as I like to make you pay for what you did, but I love you regardless. Babe, thank you so much. I, I, I look, I'm so sorry. I, I wish your mom and dad would even forgive me too. I'll help you talk to, to them, okay? Really? Please, thank you so much. Thank you. I, I'm sorry I messed up. I, I want to come to your place. Really? Because we have a lot to talk about. I want to see if there's anything I can do for you. B babe, are you for real? Mm, well, we'll talk, we'll talk more when we we'll see you, all right? Just forward your address to me. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I, 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 I mean, I'll, I'll send it now, now, now. Okay. Bye.
Team! Mom. Uh, uh, go and get ready. You're starting work in your dad's company today. Work? I don't understand. You've been appointed as the new administrative officer of Rubenko Ventures. And your appointment takes immediate effect. Yes. How come no one told me about it till now? That we're telling you now. Mm. So go and get ready. You're leaving for the office. No, Mom. You can't just spring things on me. You need to... I should have been informed. I... No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it, please. What's that? You will. No, I won't, Mom. When you finish speaking the grammar, hmm? Just go inside and get ready and go to work. Dad, I do not have problem with the appointment. What I have a problem with is you not informing me about it. You can't just... I need time. I need to ease into it. I, I need to be prepared as someone about to start work. You don't just expect me to jump and start... No, it's not happening. Please, what's this now? Nelly? Mom, no! Ah. It's like this strong firewood. Thank you once again. Mm. Ngala Yes, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Ngala what is going on between our children? Mm. Remember you promised that your daughter Nelly is going to get married to my handsome junior. What is going on? Love it. This yes. children will not kill me. Mm -mm. Do you know that my daughter left gold for a low life? Who is he? I am sorry to say this. She brought that fool to this house and he was busy lying about his identity. You can imagine that. Hmm. So she rejected my son for that classless idiot? Hmm. My dear friend, you can imagine. And she's hell-bent on getting married to that boy. Eh? Is she pregnant for him? My friend, I wouldn't know. No? You don't say that. You should know. She is your daughter. We parents should be close enough to our children to know what they do behind us. Not when these children are old enough to take care of themselves. Nelly have lived all her life in UK without her father or I to question what she does. Except when we visit the UK on vacation. Trying to dictate for her who to love is way too low. We have done that severally, but she's unyielding. Same with my son. He is of the insistence of marrying one classless Sandra. Oh. With or without the consent and blessings of my husband and I. Hmm. Love it. I don't know what else to do. You see, I have pushed and pushed. And I am still pushing. I have even used threat on my son. But the more I told that, Nelly makes things so difficult for my son. You see, I know my son, I can see through his mind. He has been through a lot in your daughter's hand. Yes, you're right. Junior knows a thing as tolerance. He has endured so much in Nelly's hands. Whatever decision he has taken, it's fine by me. My friend, do you know what? My son sees us, his parent now, as the devil that doesn't want his happiness. Hmm. My dear friend, it is well. It is well, oh. So, mm. tell me, who is this girl that has captured his heart? Ah. <laughs> well, her name is Sandra. Okay. She is very beautiful. Wow. Yeah. She's very beautiful. <laughs> and with the look of things, uh, she's a good girl. Yeah, I can see. Mm. <laughs> All right, my friend. <laughs> mm. Cheers. Cheers. They can't spoil us. Oh, no. No, they can't. Oh, we can't can spoil us. <laughs> We've been together before they were born. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just a girl in love. I 
I didn't know I'd fall like this What can I do to prove my point? Cause I made up my mind To follow my heart I don't care about the consequences I'm gonna go any length To be with you Whoa. Cause I love you and I want to Look around. This is, this is really good. I know. Come on, have you seen the dining section? <laughs> Do you like it? I know. <laughs> have you seen the dining section? Hey, um, what have I done to deserve everything you can do for me? <sighs> Thinking about it, nothing actually. But everything I do, I do for love. All I want is for you to just love me. Yeah. Hey. Mm. I love you, fine girl. <laughs> is that one of your flattery? I know you flatter you. Mm. I'm seriously not flattering you. I love you for real. Oh, and I love you more. <laughs> Thank okay, you. so let's let's look let's go to the kitchen. Yes. You need to see the kitchen. That's it, we're doing your magic all right. What? <laughs> uh, Dr. Mike. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you very much. To what do I owe this August visit? Um well <laughs> I should break the news. <laughs> we have come to pluck that beautiful fruit you have in your house. <laughs> uh, Dr. Mike, yeah? <laughs> you started talking like this old man anymore. Oh, cool. Why don't you go straight to the point so I can get to what you are driving uh, right. at? Let me break it down. Okay. Um, we are here to seek the hands of your beautiful angel, jewel, in marriage. Uh, well, in that case, your, your visit is a good one. Oh, eh? well, thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. Junior, welcome. Thank you, sir. Good. You're welcome. Uh, mm -hmm. Go and uh, call me Nelly. Uh, uh, darling, she's not at home as we speak. Uh, she good. Uh, she never mentioned it. Oh. Yes. Um, look right, it's can see. Nelly is not around. That means you have to repeat this journey. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Yes. <laughs> so um, Oh. oh, here she is. Oh, good good day, everyone. Ah. Yeah, good afternoon. You're welcome. Dad. Oh. Yes. Mom, what's going on? Uh, Nelly, you're welcome. You left the house without telling anybody. I said they should call you for the moment. Uh, yes, Dad. I, I went out. Yeah. Yes. And you are right on time. Exactly. Right on <laughs> that. Uh, Dr. Mike, my friend, you know him now. Of course. And Junior and son. Uh, in fact, they are here to to seek your hand in marriage. Yes. 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 <laughs> and uh, it's a happy mm -hmm. uh, get together. And luckily, you just walked in. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Dad. Yeah. I, I don't understand. I've said this over and over again that I don't love Junior and I cannot marry him. Well, I'm just going to have to say this for the very last time. I don't want anything to do with him. I can't marry him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dad? Son? I'm out of this place. Uh, you, you just hold down. I'll meet us. Wait, wait for me. Just wait for me. Junior, you know, go and meet her. Go and meet her. What, what is wrong with these children? Eh? What's the matter? They used to like each other a whole lot. We're growing up. 
if a soothsayer had told me that we're going to have difficulty in uniting them together, I wouldn't have believed it. Likewise. Don't worry. She's playing hard to get. Children, they're always funny. Yes. Allow her. Hmm? Mm. Allow her. If she's playing hard to get, yeah? So it's not easy no. now. Yeah. No. Thank you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nelly, what was that you just did? Have you completely gone insane? Eh? What have I done again? What was that you did to Michael Jr. and his father? That's what I'm talking about. Answer me now before I lose it. I just told them the truth. Which is? Well, that I don't love your son and I don't want to be with him. Why? I thought I just answered well, he's not my kind of man. Okay, tell me, who's your kind of man? Barista, Michael Jr. is the best for you. He has a beautiful family background. Moreover, his father and I have been friends for, for long. We're family friends. That's the problem. Why do parents insist on forcing their children together all in the name of age-long friendship? Why exactly that? You, you better start getting used to Michael Jr. because he will soon become my son-in-law. Dad, you cannot force Junior on me. That's a no-no. Nelly, I don't want to lose my temper on you. I don't want to get mad at you. Dad, I don't love Junior. I don't want to be with him. Why is, that, why is it so difficult to understand? I hope you're not still seeing that uh, good for nothing gold digger. His name is Ken. He's the one I want to be with. I love him. How dare you sit in my presence and tell me about that good for nothing fool? That Ken is a graduate. Come on, he's a hard worker. He's not lazy. He's just a victim of the society. That's it. Don't tell me you've been frolicking with a jobless graduate. Eh, Nelly? Dad, Ken is the one I want to marry, whether you like it or not. You must be out of your senses. Did you see your daughter? Tell her that nobody messes with uh, me, Papando, of Akabuku. Nobody, not even in my house. I will not take it. Nelly, is this how you want to pay us back for everything we have done for you? Huh? Three weeks after you returned from UK, you have brought two men to this house, all in the name of marriage. Your blood group and that of David did not match, making you both unfit for marriage. He left. Now, Johnson came. Few days after, he was arrested by the Drug Law Enforcement Agency. Can't you see everything is wrong with your choices? Can't you? Can we just let bygone be bygone? Please, stop bringing up the past. Nelly, we are your parents and we want the best for you. Eh? Uh, that's why we cannot allow you to just settle down with any other man. You are our investment. Please. Nelly, we love you. We are your parents and we cannot deceive you. Don't, okay. don't, 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 don't tell me to calm down. Don't. Don't. Would you rather trigger your BP? Eh? There's a limit to what I can take from that girl. She has pushed me to the limits. Uh -uh. I don't know the name of demon that has taken hold of her. She keeps making wrong choices. 
ranging from David to Johnson and now Ken. Eh? If she doesn't stop seeing that good for nothing boy, I am going to disown her. She will cease to be my daughter anymore. I really don't like what is happening. I never saw this coming. I, Chief Ruben Papando, one of Akabu, I should be the one to choose a husband for my only daughter and not the other way around. Huh? Honey, we really need to slow down on this. I suggest we let her be. Okay? What are you even saying? I see. And honey, did you notice that Junior was happy for Nelly's action? What are you even saying? For the records, I don't think Junior loves Nelly. Yes, because Lover told me in confidence that Dr. Michael had to drag Junior to this house through threats. Well, in that case, in that case, I will be the one to choose another eligible suitor for her. Now, darling, do you have anybody in mind? Because she has never made a good choice. And honey, let me be the one to make the choices for her. What is wrong with everyone? You can't be forcing me on Junior. What's this? It's crystal clear that I don't love this guy. I feel nothing for him. Ken is the one I want and he's the one I want to be with. Why is it so difficult for them to understand this fact? Junior, what does he want? Hello, Junior. I'm not good. What's that? About what exactly? Okay, that's fine. What do you think we should do? Alright then, I'll see you there. Seriously, I don't like what is going on. Why is it our parents are both trying to make us come together, whereas we know we don't feel anything for each other? I mean, it doesn't make sense. I think the reason is best known to them. Sincerely, if I tell you I understand what is going on, if I tell you I understand all this madness, then I'm lying to you. I mean, they, they know that we don't feel anything for each other. Why then are they pushing it? But do you know one thing I don't understand? I actually have a woman I'm in love with. Mm. I have someone I want to spend my entire life with. Mm. I brought the girl home to show my parents, but guess what? They said they don't want her. They said no to the proposal. Same here. Come here. The love of my life. His oh, name is Ken. Oh, he's handsome. Of course, you know I like them handsome. Yeah, could, <laughs> <laughs> you never change. You know, I can remember in one occasion while we're still kids, you you once mentioned to me that you end up marrying a man who's as handsome as I am too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, what's that? You no, still remember that? Yeah, but and you said that to me on, too. Back then you were handsome, but now, nah. Oh, <laughs> oh please. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what's going on with my parents, sincerely. You know, the thing is, uh, when I brought my woman home for them to see her, guess what my parents said? That she's a gold digger. Same here. Oh, really? <sighs> well, they, because of what had happened recently, you know, they, they said Ken was a liar and all that stuff. But it's, <sighs> I'm just so tired. My dad is super obstinate. I can imagine. Oh, it's crazy. I swear. My darling husband. Honestly, I am. I'm giving up on these children. Tired. Huh? Well, for me, I've made my points. Huh? Junior marries Nelly. That is it. That's what I want. My darling husband, don't be too hard on yourself. You know it's not good for you medically. Allow the children be. I 
can no longer continue pushing this. I am tired. And I'm backing out. Please. What do you mean by that? I don't understand. I am tired, please. Tired of the whole thing. You are tired? Yes. You brought me into this. Now you are telling me you are tired. You can't do that. I want out, honestly. I want out. Huh? Really? You want to back out now? You brought me into this, remember? Women. I know I brought you into it. But not when my son is threatening to take his life. After he has brought a woman he loves home, let's give them a chance. That girl? That gold digger? There he goes again. My husband, Sandra, is a good girl. She is not in us, those names we call her. You are not serious. I'm sure you are not. Mm. All of a sudden, you are chicken out now. All of a sudden. My son is important to me. Ah. So you want to mess me up because of your son? Is that? You see, there are too many questions that are really begging for answers. I mean, why would our parents want to do this to us? I mean, it doesn't make sense. Does it mean that the children of the rich can actually marry the kids of the poor? It's really annoying because anytime, you know, we, the kids of the rich, try to mingle, you know, with those children from the poor homes, they term them gold diggers. <sighs> this doesn't make sense at all, honestly. It's uncalled for. Well, um, the reason I called you out here is because um, I want us to work on something for the both of us. So what do you think we should do? Because right now I'm completely blank. Okay. Are you sure it's going to work? Um, I hope so. It will. Well, I pray, I pray it works. I pray it works. It's going to work, actually. Trust me, it's going to work. Because all I want is just to be with Ken. He's the one I want. He's the one I love. Even though my parents do not approve of him, I love Same him. Same here. I want to also want to be with Sandra. I love her so much. She means the world to me. Like, I want to spend my entire life with Sandra. <sighs> this is not making sense at all, I swear. You know what I think? What? We are really unfortunate to have the kind of parents we have. You think so? Yeah. Look at us. I mean, we're in love with some we're in love with other people yet they're pushing both of us together it's sad it's unfortunate this is this is this is unbelievable so uh, let me let me uh, let me show you this so you see that um that's my baby oh she's cute yeah she means the world to me oh. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah. She, has, she has nice eyes. Oh, I said that before. Mm, uh, whatever. Yeah, so, um. Junior, you have been kneeling down since without a word. What is the problem? If there's any problem, you don't have to kneel before talking to us. Uh -huh. If he doesn't have anything to say, let him go into his room and sleep. You are free to go and sleep. No, oh, how this? Um, Dad, Mom, I believe you both love me so much, and that's why you have given me the best that life can give anyone. I want to believe that as my parents, you both want my happiness. I am here as your son to appeal to both of you. Please, mom, dad, allow me marry the woman after my heart. Allow me to go where I have found peace and happiness. Please, I beg of you, please. I just need your consent to marry Sandra, please. Yeah. Junior, 
you cannot marry a daughter of nobody. You can't bring a daughter of a poverty-stricken family into my house. No way! It can't work. In that daughter of nobody, I have found peace and love. In that daughter of nobody, I have found happiness. In that daughter of nobody, I have found love beyond oceans. Please, just let me do this for once. Let me make a decision for once in my life, please. Please, I beg of you. Please, Dad, please. Your son wants to bring a daughter of nobody to my house. It will not work. Do you hear me? You can't bring a daughter of a family that has no name, no name, into this home. It will not work, Junior. But I think better. You can do that. Did you hear him? It doesn't work. Nothing will make me not marry Ken. Not even my father's threats can deter me. He's just joking. I'm just a girl in love. I didn't know I'd fall like this. What can I do to prove my point? Hello, Junior. How did it go? What's the update? Did you did you did you succeed in talking with your parents? Okay, what's the update? Oh, um, tell me about it. Okay. Oh, wow. It's, you're serious. So this is what this is all about. <sighs> I should have known. I should have known this is what they wanted. But they're just joking. But Junior, what did you tell them? I mean your parents. What do you mean nothing? I... You, as a man, you, you should... You should have something to say. Yes, I remember, but I'm tired of all those fights. It, you know what? The fact that the way things turned out like this is already making me sick in the first place. I'm thinking maybe we should get someone to talk to them on our behalf. I mean, our parents. Yes, I'll get someone to talk to them. Good night. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Um, excuse me for a minute. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Um, Tim, do you want anything to drink? Ah, uh, no, I'm fine. Okay. Mommy, I'm just feeling a bit nervous. So. You don't mm. have to be nervous. What's that? Nah, just run as you might see. We came prepared. Mm -hmm. Double. Are you sure he's still coming? I don't know. Yes, he, he, he will. You Just know, the last time relax. I was here, he was more than me. Relax, that time is in the past. You don't have to bother yourself. Where are those boys? Where are they? Are they? Ah! That's me! No, 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 no! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? They don't run come out too. They don't run come out. You are lying to run come out. You are a fool. Okay, you don't tell me to hold them. I'm for 
Hold up. Dad. Costas. What have you done? What have you done? Exactly what I have done. I told you I don't want to see people like that again in my house. But that's not fair. You want me to get married and leave your house, right? Then you succeeded in chasing the young man who has come to ask for my hand in marriage. What's this? This, this place is out of bounds to people like that. I've told you this. Don't you, can't you understand? Get used to it, that. Because that's the person I want. That's the person I want to get married to. I love him. Okay. Yes. You want to die, right? Yes, dad. Kill me. Very good. Kill me instead, dad. Very good. So I'm going to take you up above the skies where you want to be. <laughs> Trust me, I mean, there's, there's something about you that drives me crazy. I don't want to do a life without you. Would you do that for me? I swear to God in heaven, I will do more. Huh? See, in life, there's nothing like choosing someone after your heart. You kill. <laughs> you kill. You know, you know, I always love you, right? I love you too, baby. Yeah, really. <laughs> I can stop loving you, man. Same here. Is it, um, sorry. Yeah. Hi, mom. Son, uh, can I see you for a minute? Oh, okay. I'm doing this soon. It's fine, baby. Excuse me. Sure. Oh. To bring her home when you know your dad is around. I mean, I, I brought the woman I want to marry for my dad to see. But what wrong have I committed? You know, we are not going to give you that consent of marrying Sandra, though she's a good girl. We want you to marry Nelly. And you know the obvious reasons. Mom, what reason for crying out loud? What other reason apart from the reason of her father's wealth? Well, whatever reason you have surrounding your decisions, it has to do with her family background. Please, I, I don't want to have this notion that my happiness is not into play. Excuse me. Son, you know what you want, and that you must do. Mom. Your father is around. He mustn't see her. Mom. I don't know why you're doing this, but to be honest with you, that girl is a girl after my heart. My heart has been stolen by that girl, and that is the woman I'm marrying. If you don't mind, let me get my dad. Does it mean I don't matter anymore? Mom, 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 you matter in this. That is only if you decide to join the winning fan. This and I just hope he's safe. Eh? These rich people are so wicked. This, these rich people should just let the poor breathe. What kind of thing is this? Who is uh, the visitor you brought to my house, um, Junior? That, um, it's. <laughs> ah. Good afternoon, Daddy. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. And uh, who is she? I'm that. She, she's she's my fiance. Did you say your fiance? It's just that um, her name is um, Sandra. Um, this is the woman that has succeeded in stealing my heart. Really? Yes, that. Now? Um, that, please. Um, I just want to beg you for something. What? Please, can I get your blessing on this one? I want to make this one permanent in my life, please. I have found a wife for myself. Please, I beg you. This is where my heart lies. Please. Honey? Yes. He wants me to bless them. And what are you going to do about that? <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's all right. You have my blessings. <gasps> thank you so much, thank Dad. You. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, thank God, you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Yeah.
after why I skipped the manor house, eh? I'm it still doing hot. Eh? It's a miracle. Huh. Do you know I'm still trying to recover from what happened in that house? What about me? That man literally pointed a gun at me. I was looking at him and gone like this. You know, for any intervention, no? Eh? See, I need you to take my advice and leave Nelly. Ah. Leave Nelly for your for your own sake. See, I can't leave Nelly. I can't leave her now. The last time I checked, marriage is not a do or die affair. Chief has told you, pump and plain, to leave the daughter alone. Half of this girl now. Don't you understand? I mean, marrying Nelly is to my own advantage. Can't you see it? Wait. To your own advantage. The, this whole marriage of a thing, is it about money? Ken. Look, all, all I'm just saying is, I can't just leave the girl alone right now. I can't now. Even if it's do anything possible to convince the family, but man, I just have to marry that girl. Okay, so it's about the money now. It's the same thing. See, let me tell you something. I know you don't like your life. This is your life that you are living. I know it's not important to you. But for Christ's sake, can you please live for your mother? That woman has suffered for you. She don't try. Not only you, she gets. My husband, you overreacted. You simply went overboard. What if you had shot that boy to death? No, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to blow off his brains. Huh? No, darling. It's all right. Just calm down, please. Relax your nerves. Remember your health issue. Biko, please, let's go in. Please, my darling. My love, please forgive him. I'm, I can't do this anymore. I mean, I, I just can't. Please, this is over. I can't do this. You know what I feel for you is very strong. You can't just walk away like this. Please. You shouldn't have done that now. I mean, I would have been killed all because of love. No, that's the height now. I can't, I can't take it. I'm sorry. Please. That was uncalled for. What wrong did I do? I only came to ask for your hand in marriage, which every regular guy would do. And not to be treated like a common criminal. I know. I agree. He wasn't supposed to. What he did was... I'm sorry he humiliated you. It, it was actually uncalled for and you were right. But please, I'm begging you to let it go. Please. You can't be with my daughter in your father's words. So what's the essence of this relationship? When the person that is supposed to take your diary said no, Are you breaking up with me? I just can't do this, please. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, you know I love you so much. My entire existence revolves around you. Please. Can you just forgive him? I don't want to be with any other person but you. You know that. So please, I'm sorry. Forgive us, please. Come on. You see the way why just the look on her too. She did talk with she did talk. See, make I tell you something. If you're not careful, that Nelly will send you to your early grave. That's if you don't check it. You should count yourself lucky that man did not shoot you right in his house. By now, you for the mortuary. Your case for don't close. This girl now would do this thing with you now, but she could just she could just mourn you for probably one or two months. Maybe one senator son could just come. She go marry him. Waka. But guess what? You don't move. This money you are chasing in this family is not worth your life. It's not worth it. Come on now, you be smart guy normally now. Think now. If you dare life, hope there, options there. You don't even know whether not one, one, another billionaire daughter now will fall in love with you. You will get another chance for life. This is not worth it, bro. This man will clean your family name. And they talk, you just did that, they look with you, don't talk anything. This is, people like this in day, you funny. What you make I talk now? No, what, what, that's because I have nothing to say. You have nothing to say. You should be listening to what I'm telling you. That's what you're supposed to be saying. What's going on now? Have you even thought about what this thing, this whole thing will do to your poor mother? You're not even thinking about her. Mom. 
know what's going on. Is she going to be all right? Mom, talk to me. What's happening to my wife? Let me see your phone. What's going on with her? So, mom, your wife is seriously sick. Baby, I'm so sorry that you're sick. So, mom, what, what do we do? Baby, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Congratulations! Your wife is pregnant. Oh my, oh my God! Babe! 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 Did you hear what she said? Are you sure? Oh, are you sure what you say now? She's pregnant. You're pregnant. Oh. But I'm going to run the rest uh, test on her. Okay. So that I will know the exact risk. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, mommy. Oh, God, this is good. See, my Gina is going yeah. to be a father. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mom, thank you so much. I love you. Thank you so much. Love you too, guys. Hey, I was thinking you're so sick. Oh my god. Are you going to be a father? Yeah, I'm going to be a father. You're going to be a mother too. <laughs> you know what? Um, from this time henceforth, um, you're not meant to do anything in this house. From going to the bathroom, going to the kitchen, everyone that trusts in the house, let me handle this. <laughs> Alright? Because I don't want to stress this. This is Long time. Yes. I hope my friend is in. Well, he traveled. Oh, he went to Lagos? No, 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 no. He went to the village. To the village? He didn't tell me he was traveling. Uh, well, his mom called him. I think it's urgent. Well, in that case, I should be going back to Anita. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, sit, sit, sit. Let me entertain you now. Uh, no, don't worry. Next time, okay? I insist, please. Just sit. Let me at least entertain you. Oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> hey! You can increase the volume if you want. Our wife! <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. Wow. I'm telling you. Uh -uh. Hey. Ah, uh, please then. Eh? You take this. Let me prepare something in the kitchen for you. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. You're welcome, eh? Let me rush to the kitchen, eh? I'll okay. be right back. Okay. 